esto con el otro. No te ocupas, pendejo, de dejar la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. Y que nos cae ese güey. Y de aquí para acá, ellos son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. ¿Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh Hold it, gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be this whole place is teeming with a... 
with Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Dios mío! ¿Quién es el borracho aquí? Tú o yo? Let's try one more time. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Come on. I've got another idea. Hola. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Done, sir. You've been taught well. Son, an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. Señor Ricketts! Señor Ricketts! Señor Ricketts! Señor Ricketts! Por favor, señor! Our bank wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, señor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. Come on, these people need me. Why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I showed them what a big mistake they'd made. There they are. Follow me. That's too damn close! This is what happens when you steal from my town. Touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Rickett partner. 
young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true. Dios mío! Vienen más! Estamos muertos! Good work, boys. Now let's get this wagon back where it belongs. So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't, my sour little apprentice. Come on! Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Señor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, grind the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there.
should be some horses for us across the way. this Louisa girl anyway. She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Yeah! Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Luisa, is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. Hope you're ready for this. Get up here, Marston! No! 
Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of show up.
Saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Javier Squill one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Yeah. 